watching What's Trending Live from the Samsung Blogger Lounge, South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Lon Harris, our, our head writer That's at What's me. Trending, has been joining me. I'm Cheryl Lazar. And now, wrapping up our day, we have the cast stars EP of... Everybody. Yeah, everyone from K-Town Cowboys. Everyone who matters from K-Town Cowboys. We got, yes. yeah, DPD, the director. We got Danny Cho, co-writer and star. Yeah. Ken Jeong, you're in the film. You're an executive producer. And Daniel Day Kim, you are in the film as well. Thanks for being here. Yes, thanks Everybody. again. Yes, thanks for having me. Lovely to have you. I want to start by, like, so much of this film is, it's, I mean, it's about the characters. It's a story, but it's also about Koreatown in Los Angeles. Like, what, what is it about this neighborhood that people don't maybe don't know that's so exciting about it that made it such an interesting setting for a film? It's all the shady stuff. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, honestly, like, I think a lot of people from Los Angeles, they pass through the streets of K-Town. Maybe they eat some dinner there, but th there's all these buildings and things going on there that are just on the other side of the wall that they don't know about. Right. And then when people start to understand what kind of debauchery happens there, it gets exciting. It's a little bit mysterious and exotic. So that's kind of like a lot about K-Town to us. Yeah. And uh, Ken, you're an EP and you make a cameo. Well, this is based on a, uh, a web series of the same name cool. that I was a huge fan of. And, and, and I, I talked with uh, DPD and Danny a couple of years ago about like, like the, they're, they're talking about developing this into a movie and, and I just wanted to be a part of it in any way possible. So I, I'm just a fan of these guys. And it's just, it really just came out of love. You know, like Ken, I just wanted to support these guys because I, I love the fact that they took the initiative. Seeing a bunch of Asian American men kind of doing something uh, for themselves, I, I wanted to just support in any way I could. You've come such a long way. I, I remember interviewing you for Knocked Up. Yeah. Um, and you were do just a doctor who was stumbled into this acting gig and then you proved everyone that you're somehow this incredible comedic actor. Um, could you have expected then you would be, you know, in these huge franchises and now, you know, executive producing and helping others grow their careers? No, I never, I never expected any of this. I was just so happy to be in Knocked Up. That was like, you know, that, that really opened the door for everything. If it wasn't for Knocked Up, I, would be no hangover. I wouldn't be here with these guys. So I, I, I'm just, I, I'm just so grateful to be a part of this. And I never thought in a million years I would be sitting here talking to you again. You know. So, so to me, this is like, this is such a beyond a dream come true. And then also, just to now to support people whose work I really respect. I mean, it's even, it's even like a bigger joy. For, uh, for LA locals, uh, we're, we're, we're from LA, it, one of the fun things is all these buildings and all these, all these places that you're used to seeing and maybe you haven't been inside. And what were some of the toughest places to actually lock down and get to go film? Cool. And actually locking down was really difficult. We, we had to have Danny also half function as location manager. A lot of bowing down and using polite words to older Korean men to oh, let us shoot here. So there's, there's a specific way of trying to butter up Korean businessmen. I mean, it's not like it's not like sexual or anything, but you know, like <laughs> that is where I think like, but 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 there is a there's a method, and I'm 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 an expert at it. What is that method? It is sexual. It's oh. kinda, kinda it's, it's kind of flirty, but man flirty. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to explain it, but so I'm good at that. One of the things that you guys do that's, that's a lot of fun and enlightening for those of us who aren't Korean is is sort of pausing to explain a lot of these terms, like like yeah. fresh off the boat or how this sort of do me system works. Why was that something? early on that you wanted to involve in the movie and were you sort of aware there's going to be an audience that is not keyed into what you guys are talking about all the time? Uh, we, we just wanted it to be a tour guide of sorts. It's like, right. it's a lot of information all at once, so we wanted, we thought it'd be fun and also funny to break it down a certain way, so. So what are those things that we all need to know? For you, uh, oh, if God. you meet, if you meet an older guy, yeah. you call them Opa. Opa? Yeah, Opa. As in, as in Opa Gardenum style, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. You, there you go. go. That's why they did it. As there in Sai Opa. Opa. <laughs> Opa. Or you don't, or even if they're not older than you, but you want something from them, you know what I mean? Throw a little, throw a little shimmy and be like, Opa. You know? Well, movie's K-Town Cowboys. Congratulations, you guys. See it tonight you if you're rock. in Austin. Tonight. Appreciate your tonight. time. Thanks for watching our coverage live from the Samsung Blogger Lounge at South by Southwest. To watch another awesome video, click right here. Subscribe for more, like, let us know what you think in the comments below.